Anna. Hi. <laughs> um, great to have you here. Nice to meet you. Nice. Uh, and you'll be presenting, you'll be talking about um, how an old lady's business can benefit from APIs. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Are you able to share your screen, uh, share your um, yes, screen? Yes, it's okay. Okay, wonderful. Great. I'm going to jump off and leave you to it. Thanks. Okay. Um, so, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for your curiosity and listening to me today. Uh, first, maybe let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Claire Dumildo, business owner for APIs and in charge of partnership in MAIF. Uh, for those who do not know, MAIF is one of the leading French insurance companies. Um, why is it a business owner talking about APIs for MAIF today? Uh, you will see in this presentation that APIs at MAIF are firstly a matter of business. The purpose of my talk is to show you how an old lady such as MAIF is benefiting from APIs, which strategy we adopted and how we are implementing it. So, first, how did it start at MAIF? We saw the rise of many insurtechs such as Limonade, but also Lobis and Luco in France. But we also noticed that all the small actors were getting to grips with insurance in different ways. So we concluded that it is the insurance term to be disrupted or reinvented by innovative players. How can Maif, one of the oldest French insurers, benefiting from this opportunity? Let's imagine two scenarios. First, by making a radical break on its model, like La Parisienne did successfully on the French market, this insurer, which is the oldest one in France, by the way, has made a shift to implement a model entirely based on APIs. The process came to its conclusion this year with a rebranding to become Wacom, proving that their change of processes has reached its end. This scenario is clearly the most radical one, and Maïf does not want to go that far. Thus, we studied a second, less radical scenario. It consists on providing innovative players with our own assets and without changing who we are. It is by this one that MAIF has chosen to be part of the current changes. Therefore, we implemented several mechanisms, and I'm going to introduce you to one of them. We called it insurance as a service. So what is insurance as a service in the MAIF way of thinking or doing? The goal of this project is to make MAIF insurance expertise easier to reach for every digital player. Of course, to do it, we rely on APIs. Let's see how. We are building the project on three pillars. First, we have one main asset that can interest digital players, which is our brand. The brand MAIF is a major asset on the French market. We are convinced that a lot of players can be and are interested by its value. Second, we want to be able to address every digital actor looking for insurance to enrich their user experience or increase their incomes. And no matter how much they want to or are able to invest. So we will see how we are building our API offer to fulfill that goal. And last but not least, we want to make APIs a means to make our expert expertise within the reach of everyone, developers, but also growth hackers, by making APIs concrete. So I will show you also how we imagine our documentation to make it understandable to everyone, both technical and non-technical people. To begin with, it may be interesting to specify that APIs to, appears to be the best, if not the only way, to delegate insurance distribution. In fact, selling insurance is not easy. There are usually several questions to be asked and a complex tarification model. It appears APIs to be the only way to absorb this complexity and to make insurance easy to integrate into partners' flow without being an expert of insurance. So I must say that obviously when our range of APIs is defined, we keep collaborating with our API factory and teams are created. And at all time of the process, we work in proximity with our API teams. And maybe that could be one of the key of the success. So 
Let's go to the first point, the brand myth. And let me introduce what I call the Nutella theory. So do not bother to Google it. I just invented it especially for you for this occasion. So sorry if it's funny. <laughs> Um, first, you need a strong brand. Uh, so MAIF is a strong brand built over 86 years, and it is one of the most committed brands in France. We were one of the first to begin the process of becoming mission-based company through the writing of our purpose. This engagement guides all our actions. You can find proof of our commitment within our offers, for example, when we promote second-hand car body parts, or when we decided to repay part of this year car insurance premium to the owner of our 3.4 million insured car. Or again, when we committed to freeze car insurance prices during these complicated times. The MIFE brand matters among the growing number of committee brands. This is a main asset that can also bring value to partners. So first ingredient of the equation, check, we have it. The second element necessary in the equation is that we need a good product. Once again, Maif is well known for the quality of its offers and services. In fact, we received the first prize for insurance customers' relation 16 times in a row. Customer satisfaction is clearly our main concern and it has been rewarded by one of the lowest turnovers on the insurance market. That's the second element, check. And so, here we go. If, we have, if you have a strong brand and a good product, you could apply the Nutella theory. So what, what is it? What could be the Nutella theory? Nutella is a direct-to-consumer product, and everyone can buy it for themselves in the supermarket. Therefore, when buying a dessert at a restaurant or a donut on the beach, you and your kids are more likely to give in if you see a Nutella sign on the store. Nutella? because it is so well known and because the specific nature of its product increases the sale of the store, whatever the recipe used. Maif wants to apply the same logic. Our brand is strong and our product attractive. We will give our partners the tools to integrate our offer into their own experience. By letting them create their own recipe, we believe they can sell insurance in a way we would never have thought about. The tools we provide are APIs, of course, but with a focus on making them simple and accessible for everyone. Just like our insurance offers, we want our APIs to be different and noticed for their quality. But, because there is a big but, <laughs> what is the main difference between Nutella and Maif? I think you said, we guarantee our insurance are without time old, obviously. There is no bad ingredient at Maif, and this is a big one. A bit different. So let's go see the second point. We want to address every player. So as I said, we want to be able to address every digital player looking for insurance to enrich their user experience or increase their incomes. So who are the targeted partners? Well, we have we have three main criteria to target our partners. First, they need to have a digital flow. It is obviously meaningless to integrate an API to sell insurance without a digital experience. Then they need to match with Maith's value. As a committed brand, we do not agree to be associated with a company in opposition to what we stand for. And the third point is that partners should be pertinent to suggest their users to, subscri to su subscribe, <laughs> excuse me, for example, car or home offer. In the middle of these three criteria, oops, sorry, you can find our targets. Among these targets, there is four, a fourth element to be considered. In fact, insurance distribution is regulated by law. Everyone who wants to provide insurance must be registered to the OIAT, the French Controlling Authority. The registration is quite complex because it includes 150 hours of classes. So as you can understand, not all players want to complete this process. That is why in France, we can divide insurance players into two categories. Those who are making the effort to be registered at the, as an insurance distributor on the tip of the iceberg, easy to find with a clear strategy about insurance. 
And in the other side, those who don't want to do this effort at the bottom of the iceberg, more complicated to identify, but still with great potential. In this second category, there are obviously more players. When building our solution, we need to keep in mind both typologies, not to miss part of the market or businesses. Our API's offer is built according to this marketing approach based on business potential and targeted profiles. That is why we are developing several kinds of APIs um, to provide solutions to both the tip and the bottom of the iceberg. Being at the bottom of the iceberg is not a fatality, and every player can go from the bottom to the top. As part of the partnership relationship, we help them mature the strategy about insurance by offering advices and more and more integrated solutions. It is important for Maif to work with these players because they relate to their users as a right life moment, the moment in life where you think about changing, changing your insurance such when you buy a car or when you buy a new house. These partners benefiting from the confidence of their users at these key moments and can take advantage of a strong recommendation power. They also contribute to enlarge our customer portfolio by being exposed to people we do not usually reach. So you understand, by making, mixing APIs and the will of building a marketing-based offer, we tend to reach the long tail of the market. But the third, the third point, the third pillar of the project is uh, making simple and accessible APIs. In fact, for us, it is not sufficient to provide solutions through APIs. We work hard to make it understandable by every kind of interlocutor. Firstly, by developer, obviously. We know that no partnership will be successful without the developers' agreement on the quality of API. They, they clearly have their place around the discussion table. As our APIs are seen as a product, we are particularly careful to make them simple without naive or insurance complexity. We know that other insurers will or already have started to provide APIs as well. So the competition will not only be on the brand or insurance offer, but also on the quality of APIs. That is why we made it one of our top priorities. To achieve quality API, we are focusing on the design by building new ones dedicated to partnership strategy. Those APIs can be seen as a hat hiding the complexity of MAIS, MAIS information system. This solution has been agreed in collaboration with MAIS API Factory with whom we keep working on how to reinvent the way to imagine API. But for us, make it easy for developers is not enough yet. We noticed during our discussion with partners that when presenting an API, the growth hacker or marketing manager or partnership manager, whatever the name, may have some trouble understanding how this product can be implemented into its flow what could be the final result for their user experience? Even if they know the concept of APIs, we observe that it is often hard for them to visualize the final result. For example, how many questions they will have to ask, et cetera, et cetera. That is why we included into our portal concrete elements to make APIs real and help them to the projection. I will show you how. As our portal is not live yet, I will show you uh, part of the first draft of the portal. So as you can see, we implemented a concrete example of a final flow here with the phone. We simulate an integration into an application. So the interlocutor we have can see how uh, questions um, have been integrated and what can be the final result. We have several examples on the final Portal, but here is one. Um, and with, uh, we also detail all the questions and answers needed to work with our APIs. We show when the flow can be stopped, for example, here, it's, it's in French, sorry. Uh, so when the flow can be stopped according to the user uh, answers, uh, for example, if he's not eligible to our insurance, we have uh, an answer saying, 
it's not eligible, so the flow stops now. And we point out how the API can make easier the process, for instance, instance through a typing head um, repository. For example, here we have an example about a bot. So the user only need to, to type few information, for example, the beginning of the name and our uh, help typing, typing head, uh, propose the global uh, name of the bot. So we make it easier and faster. With this element, uh, we consider it is easier to imagine how to integrate it into one flow. The growth hacker can immediately see how many questions it is necessary to ask and how complex it will be to, to fulfill all the steps, or again, one can be the user's experience. So we complete the Swagger and developer documentation with this presentation dedicated to growth hacker. To conclude, um, and to, yeah, to conclude, we have decided to give partners the possibility to distribute our offer by adding the power and impact of our brand to their own experience and recipe. To do that, APIs appear to, best, uh, to be the best solution, and we give our partners freedom to invent their own recipe to make the partnership a win-win model. As you understand, it is business that leads API development with a clear marketing approach to create a range of APIs able to satisfy all our targets, what efforts they are willing to make regarding uh, the registration to the ORIAS or even regarding the effort of integration. That is why we consider APIs as a product and are particularly careful to ensure quality. And so we try to insert differentiating elements to stand out from our competitors, which can be either traditional insurance or even insurtex, with a large focus on a clear and accessible documentation to make insurance and API easy for non-technical people. So we are now on track to reach our first objective, and we are already thinking about what the future of API will be. So Maif may be an old lady, um, but as we say, we usually say, age is a just a mindset after all. And my proves it can be part of the current changes and find its place in the new normal thanks to APIs. Last but not least, as a positive side effect, APIs and partnership contribute to spread my impact, increasing its leverage on society and on the environment. So thank you very much for listening. Thanks, Claire. Um, that was yeah, great. Mission. That was wonderful. The um, yeah, I, I mean, a really timely discussion as well. What with um, uh, the move towards embedded finance, where a lot of e-commerce sites will be looking for, um, or or you know, for any sort of product, will be looking for adding insurance uh, APIs right at the checkout you know, sort of thing. Yes. So um, uh, not just for shopping, but for a whole range of experiences. There, we've got a few questions. One is, so you were saying that the developer portal isn't quite live yet. How do people find out what the developer portal URL is going to be or where where will they look for that? Yeah, the, our portal and all our APIs will be available in the beginning of uh, 2021, in February or March. So we have... Uh, will be live at this moment. Okay, so maybe follow you on LinkedIn and on um, Twitter to be able to, will you announce them there? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, yes. wonderful. <laughs> you um, will know it, we will communicate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, watch this space. The Christians asked that you mentioned the iceberg theory. Does that mean you will expose partners' APIs in your API store or just use them in your offerings? Yeah, we will um, we'll expose our, the, our APIs for our offers into our portal. And um, yeah, it, it will be like standard APIs to, to integrate every of our offers into the partners' uh, flow. Interesting, yeah. Um, I think what maybe Christian just trying to read between the lines, 
of the question there. Um, I wonder if that's also about, so I mean, like one of the things, uh, and you sort of talked about this with the, um, uh, with the different examples you gave, there's this opportunity, like people won't be using just your insurance APIs on their own. They'll be using that as part of a value chain with some other APIs. And so it'll be interesting. I know it, for a large um, traditional industry like um, insurance, it's hard then to surface or share those other APIs uh, because it's sort of giving brand reputation you're legitimizing those external so yes. there is tricky questions there but it's an interesting one um uh around uh, whether or not there's a role for being able to share some of those partner apis christian's actually come back and said it's more the other way around um so guys we're going so um, okay i'm not sure though on that one what kind of nicholas has asked um what kind of support will be put in place for consumers of this developer portal? I mean, you've yeah. spoke about some of it. Yeah. Yeah, we have a um, whole, whole squad, all team dedicated to creating and uh, the APIs and helping uh, our partners to integrate them. It's really um, a partnership relationships. There is no um, like automatic enrollment. We, we need to discuss and to explain how it works because insurance, as I say, is very regulated. So um, even with APIs, I need to, to be advised on how to integrate, integrate them and to be guided. So we are with them all, all the time and we keep following them with reporting every month and everything. It's, it's really, it's not just we give APIs, it's really partnership relationship we try to, to, to implement wonderful to hear i mean that's a huge culture that must be a huge culture change um yeah. to be yeah <laughs> like yes. why are we yeah why are we engaging with these partners how have you handled those conversations internally yeah it's you know we when we explain the purpose of the project and the what can bring us uh partnership people understand and uh, little by little, they change their way of thinking and doing their work. So we, it takes time, obviously, but now we are working on it for like almost more than a year. So now we we are getting to it, and we will get we will improve uh, us with um, the our experience. And when we implement more and more partnership, we will uh, learn and and make progress. With um, has there been a change in the internal culture um, and the interest in in what you're doing since COVID? As far as like being that, because I mean, it may, it means that you're able to put your insurance products um, in more digital areas for, for uh, and more accessible to consumers in that way. Has that changed? Has have has that turned the light bulb on for? some people yet or is it that's still early days no no there is some uh, light <laughs> as you say um we we have a clear support of the top management in MAIF, so that it's clear for them that it's the, now the good way to do and one of the good way to do because we have several way of doing but this one is a good one so we have great support, and now we um, we we, uh, we started our first uh, partnership recently. So they in in them, sorry, they see it works, and we have uh, the interest of partners, and it can bring business as well. So yeah, it's it's getting uh, we are making our proofs in intern. Great. The um, yeah. I'll just one last question um before we jump off. Nicholas has asked um. Uh, about so the subscription will not be automatic so there's some internal subscription review on your side he's saying what delay between asking for a subscription so that you the you you can use this uh, use the apis without um signing up or you need to sign up to be able to start using the apis yeah you need to sign up uh, and how long stage... what's that how long's that process between signing up and being able to start playing around even in a sandbox yeah for, to access the sandbox is really it's really fast we just need you just need to say hello and say hello who you are okay you can access the sandbox it's really quick but to implement the api and uh, set and implement the partnership is quite easy because we have a already existing process 
the US is the, lo the longest party uh, to sign the, the contract. And usually it's uh, on the partner side that it takes a long time. So if we, if everything uh, right. is going fluently in maybe a week or two weeks, it's, it's okay. Cool. They can play with the API. It's really quick. We made it very simple and quick. Okay, wonderful. Thank yeah. you, Claire, for sharing Thank the you very progress. Much.